ready for confetti. <laughs> what we sound like, hey, wall. All right. Well, you know what that means. Hey, man, let's get back to it. Welcome back to the black market. Let's get to the black market. You know what the bill means, right? <laughs> you don't know what the bill means? Wait. That means there's money on the oh. floor. <laughs> That means it's the money to get. That's true. I love the bell. Can we get you one love, ring? One more ring? One more. Shit, yeah, we'll ring it. We love abundance and money and, and prosperity and, and things of that nature. Let me grab my one sheet to let them know. Look, pick you a camera and tell them who we got in here with us okay. today. You know, you day one. <laughs> yes. Hi, I go by the name of Flocka. I am an entrepreneur. I have my own brand. Me, your host, and yeah, all around creative. All around creative. Now, give them the backstory. Tell them about your history with the 85 South Show. Wow, so um, it's so crazy. I'm low key like a day one. Talk oh, your <laughs> shit. I've, I've literally, um, I met you guys back in 2016 mm -hmm. when you guys were in this, it was like a small little area, brick wall. Yep. With That's, that was Steve Harvey's studio you was oh. at in the picture. Well, that go all the way back before the brick wall. That's, yeah. That was Steve Harvey's studio. Oh, that was before. The brick wall studio came after. After. Absolutely. And then, oh, oh my goodness. See, I'm, you know like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like. Anybody that like... came to Steve's studio, <laughs> that's, that's literally the groundwork. Yeah, yeah, so. I was just watching you guys grow, like from, like I said, day one, watch you guys grow, and I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you. It's just so amazing to see the, I, I just can't, the amazingness of you guys, just the, you. the growth, I just love it. It was so pure and organic, and just you guys being yourselves, and it just grew into an empire. A whole empire. <laughs> we're, we're sitting in a whole studio right now. A whole studio. Sur surrounded Surreal. by greatness. What yeah. you bring them up? today? So today I brought my brand called Stay Positive. It's about living life, staying positive, not letting yep. negativity get away and following your dreams. So it's basically I promote positivity through clothing. That's what's up. I'm, I'm digging the I'm digging the fits. You like that? Yeah. Whatever you want, you can have on the table. For real? Yes, yes. Even this little fuzzy? Yes, yes. That's, that's, that's one of my, everybody loves that one. Everybody yeah. loves it. Yeah. Chico would go crazy <laughs> for that, wouldn't it? That's Chico all day. Oh, Chico? Okay. Yeah, you know, he okay. loves a, a good fuzzy a good hat. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them it's nice, nice and fuzzy for all. Most definitely. What's some of the inspirations behind some of these things? So, um, my grandma, I love her so much. She's always been a positive person. She's the most positive person to this day that I've ever met in my life. Like, you shout can out go to grandma. Through, shout out to grandma. Shout out to grandma. And like when I'm going through stuff, she's like, yo, you know, you gotta stay positive. And also, what people know, a lot of people don't know about me is I'm. I was a nurse aide for like eight years. Really? I love, mm -hmm. I love science. I love anatomy. I just like taking care of people. I love like people in general. And um, because I love science so much, okay, so bear with me. Like okay. you said, bear with me now. Okay, so. I'm bearing. In the atom, it's a, nu a nucleus, right? Not you <laughs> breaking down <laughs> atoms. Okay, so because you asked, you asked, like, I gotta tell you, so. Um, so it's the nucleus. And within the nucleus, there's protons, neutrons, and, and electrons. And um, within that, the protons, they only are in the center and they focus on the protons and neurons. So they yeah. stick together. They positive. The electrons, exactly. Electrons is surrounding them, is negative energy surrounding them. So even though they're positive, the negative energy is always surrounding them, but they never interact. And if they ever do, the, the positive protons are heavier in mass, so they crush the negative energy. So that's how I got it. I know that's so corny and like nerdy and geeky, but that's I how know, I but as, I'm, I'm able to follow because I just took a chemistry class. Oh, you did? We was talking about protrons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Neutrons yeah, yeah. and all that. Yeah, so, all yeah, that. yeah. You know, yeah. neutrons is neutral. Neutral. They yeah. don't they don't hurt nobody. They just, Absolutely. They just be outside. Just don't chilling. Yep, yeah, exactly. Go right back when the lights for lights come on. On the block. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, where can they go support and where can they Get some of these flash yes. items that you brought. Um, you can't take none of this with you. All of yeah, this. Oh, thing. no. Okay. You got it. You got it. But. Um, they can follow um, me, Flock of Land, or they can go on staypositiveinc.com, staypositiveinc.com um, to support the movement and the brand. Now, I see you from Jersey. Yes. You see our tour schedule. We got Jersey on there. I know. Man, you tell all your Jersey people. Oh, I, I am. And they're Haitian, too. We, they all going to come. All of them? They probably will all come. That's what's up. They, they love funny. My family, they're, they're comedians, and so they would, yeah, they would pull up. I've never and, seen no Haitian comedians. Oh, yeah. And except for, like, three. My family, they own their own restaurant there, so if you need catering. Where? In Jersey, it's a Haitian soul food, yep. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then we plugged in all plugged over in the Jersey. place. I, we got y'all. We got y'all. Hey, tell them Flocka Center. Please do. What brought you to Atlanta? Um, well, honestly, my mom, when I was younger, moved down here. So Why you make that face like you ain't like it? Honestly, no, not even that. Not even that. You know what? It was the reason why. You know, it's the reason why behind it, we were, we were down here. It was out of our control, so it's just like that's why I gotta stay positive. And stay positive. <laughs> but yeah, I was I was young, you know, it was out of my control, and we just came down here and made the best out of it. And I, I love it here. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I live in Atlanta. I'm glad you said that, because at first you was like... I know, I know. I was, <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a little memory, like, oh, that's why I came here. But no, I was young, me and my mom and my brothers, and we just came down here, and it's been beautiful ever since. What's your journey been like with, you know, being a young, creative black woman starting a brand, a business? Exactly. Um, the journey, the journey's been ups and downs. Yeah. Alley, loop, alley oops and all around. Um, but what I can say is that it's taught me a lot about entrepreneurship. And I'm, like I said, I'm thankful for Atlanta because coming here, I feel like Atlanta's the black Mecca. It's the Wakanda of the South. So um, I'm just thankful to be in um, the, I guess, yeah, like the, the mecca of of the blackness. So I'm, I'm just happy about that. But I'm learning so much. And like I said, the journey's been ups and downs and just a learning process. Yeah. Especially being a black woman, yeah. um, like in my space, it can be hard um, because, you know, it's a man's world, corny as it seems, like I feel like with certain things. Um, but just perseverance, um, standing 10 toes down, standing on business, Got to do that, uh, first of yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. Consistency, um, you know, uh, boundaries, and yeah, all of that. That's important. So black woman, you gotta. You gotta stay. You, you gotta, gotta establish your boundaries. You have to. You have to. Because people will do anything. Anything. And they'll try you. They will. They they'll will. They'll try you. What advice do you have to the young black creatives who may um, who may be watching this? The future. What would you um, say to them? For the future, I would say stay consistent. And don't look around what's happening around you and the people that's happening around you because they all had a beginning and yours is just a start. So I would just tell them to just stay consistent, um, keep up the work. There will be hard times, but they don't last forever. They're, they might last longer than you want to, but they don't last forever. And just stay focused and stay true to who you are. Grandma would be so proud of yeah. you. <laughs> Grandma would be so proud of you, man. Let them know where they can go and support and shop with you and all yeah, that. Yeah, so it's Stay Positive, Inc. Um, that's Stay Positive, I-N-C. And um, also I want to tell you about, I had a pop-up shop in Ghana. Okay, let's yeah. wrap. Yeah, so um, my pop-up shop. How'd it in, go? It went amazing. They so, show love? Yeah, yeah. Honestly, have you ever been to Ghana? No. You need to go. Please come in December. Really? Chico been inviting me for two years. Please, please <clears throat> listen to Chico, because it's amazing. And it's so funny, their their capital, which is Accra, it <laughs> it literally is the original Atlanta. It's the original. Let me explain. Let me explain. Never heard it put like Let me explain, yeah. So Literally, they got they got the support. They got the random people. When you pull up to the club, wherever you at, you got random people telling you where to park. You got the scammers. You got the supporters. You got the the blackness, of course. But it's just I was there and I, I extended my stay a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks? Yeah. Not a couple of days. A couple of weeks. I just felt I just felt so at home. Like when you, I feel like every black black American should go to Africa. And I, I was never one of the, I'll be honest with you, I was never one of the type that said, I want to go to Africa. But when I was there, I didn't want to come back. It, it just it just makes you feel like you're home. Like, it's just like an inner body experience that tells you that you're home. And it's just everywhere around, you just see, like, beautiful blackness. Like, just gorgeous people. Like, you know, we're, we're just, we're beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It's just like seeing that that all around you. And then, like I said, you'll have like an inner body experience. Like you'll just be somewhere and just like, wow, like we just really never like, yeah, like we're really here. Yeah, so it was um, with 10 other uh, streetwear brands reached out to and they were all um, like amazing. And their the streetwear there is, is, is- Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss, amazing. <laughs> That's how I felt. The salt bayon. <laughs> salt bayon. So it really felt, it really felt um, amazing to be there, and um, everybody there 
are just, they're just so welcoming. Really? So let me ask you this. You were in, you were in Ghana and you having this inner body experience. Yeah. You got Haitian roots. Yes. I do. Did it, did it activate something? It activated something. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it activated something, and it was just so powerful. And two, I would also suggest um, to kind of be like a, do like an educational day. Go to Cape Coast. Um, go to, I forgot the tower. I know, um, I mean, the, the castle, the white the white castle. But that's a one and done thing. Um, the point of no return door with the yeah. slaves. It, it 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 can really mess you mess you up like but it's it's good to know I would never go back to that castle again but I needed to go there mm. um and uh just seeing how where we come from and just going different parts of Accra uh just yeah just just seeing and, and living and being in the food you like spicy food no See, I'm not a spicy girl either, so I, I can tell you some places where they don't have the spice because Ghanese, they'll say something's not spicy and your tongue will fall off. I can believe that. Yeah, <laughs> but you would like, I think you would like Polo Beach Club, get their chicken burgers, they're not spicy at all, and see the nice views of the, the beach, get you a little uh, drink. Because everything in there, our dollar bill, our one dollar is point, point 0.78. So a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, a thousand cities of their money is only seventy-eight dollars of our money. A thousand cities is only seventy-eight dollars of their money. That's why I extended my stay. I was getting Airbnbs for like fifteen dollars a night, and you can live. You, when I when I was there for like a month uh, last year, I, I spent eight hundred, just eight hundred U.S. dollars in total. For the month. Mm-hmm. Well, that's just, so I was that's with shopping and food and everything. Yeah, but I'm just a girl there, so I, you know, when I'm out, I'm, I'm getting drinks, I'm getting the stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just, a, just a man. No, we, we're just a man. You'll probably <laughs> <laughs> so, ain't no, ain't you'll no. You probably spend like a thousand for a month, a thousand, fifteen hundred for the month. Okay. For I the month. I can live with that. Days. I ain't staying no month. Because I, okay. I, I don't. Too. Okay. I'm just saying I can't go nowhere and stay for no month. I'm telling you, it's it's so much like Atlanta. It's so much like Atlanta. It's it's really funny. Like, I'm gonna go check them out. Though. Just yeah, just for two weeks. I have to go at least two weeks though. At least two weeks. Least That's two a weeks. long ass. Food. Yeah, it is. I'm a dumb no though. I'm a three day and I'm out of here type of place. I'm telling you, you're not you're not gonna if you go in December, you're not gonna want to just leave three days. I heard. It's too eventful. It's the, and you don't get any sleep. No sleep. They're five out, four hours behind. You had me until you said that. Now. But it's it's so much fun. You'll be having fun, and then you look up this. The, they part. Sweetheart, the I am old, baby. I am old. No, I'm telling you. Unc is going to bed. No. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You're gonna love it there. Yeah. Yeah, but I think you really like. All right. Yeah. Well, you have done enough for selling me on a trip to Africa <laughs> between you and my partner. So happy. Yeah, most definitely. Tell them where they can shop with you one more. Yeah. Time. So please, please shop with me at Stay Positive. Inc.com, stay positive, INC. Um, follow me on my socials, Flock of Lamb, um, F L O C K A, land, like a piece of land, uh, stay positive, INC. And I also have a new show that's coming out tomorrow uh, called Flocker's World. Thank you. <laughs> What's the concept? Uh, so the concept is um, really. Um, I really just got tired of seeing certain shows. Of course, not all interviews and scores like that, because you know I, I love me, I love me some um, 85 South Black. I'm on now. You know, and I, I really appreciate you guys. Even when I, I was looking at um, the certain interviews, I love how you interview. There's some people who don't look like us asking us, what are your top five rappers that are, that are alive, Jay-Z, this, that, third, and you just, I was just tired of seeing those, mm -hmm. hearing those questions. So what I did is, because I, I do know like certain people that are artists, I'm just like, you know what, I'm gonna come up with my own show that's nostalgic and that's fun, and that just shows a different side of these, these artists and not just redundant questions. Yeah. Like, for example, like I'll ask somebody, like, if you were on my show, I would ask you like, were you ever the line leader in third grade? Like, just random fun questions that like, I wasn't, I wasn't never the line leader. You not, me either. They said I was too tall. For real? Yeah, that, I, I would always be in the back, and they would have me uh, cut off the light and close the door because they said I was tall. Exactly. So I'm just like, why? Yeah, grown people here? height. Yeah. I was grown people height till grown my fifth people grade. Height. I'm not even going to hold you. I was I was like a, a average, probably like 18-year-old little boy, a 
grown man at his grade. Damn. Yeah, so I was just like, let me just... I never got no special privileges. See, school, and that's, that's the stuff I want to talk about on I my was, show. I used to get put out. My desk used to get put out the door. See, that's messed up. Look at you now. And you know that one student that was like, not bad, but his desk was like right there by the teacher? Yes, I know what you're talking about. I spent a whole semester like the teacher desk space. Like her desk is this way. My desk is literally right there. And then once I got grown and I realized it wasn't because I was bad. I was just the most entertaining person in the class. And she wanted to make sure that she could get those free laughs. Yeah. So she got to pay for them now. Absolutely. So then, like, once she moved my little desk right there, she thought I was her personal assistant. So I used to have to pass out papers oh and shit. And, and then, like, get my candy last because she would, like, hook me up on, on the staff. Was, no special privileges. I mean, like, I would run across yeah. the school to drop some off mm -hmm. at one of her homegirls or some little sticky note. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know the teachers was homegirls until I got grown. I'm thinking this is official school business, but... I'll, I done made three, four trips back and forth, <laughs> passing notes, stopping by the library, getting a projector. So it wasn't like I was having fun at exactly. all. Yeah, no, no special running. privileges. So. Exactly. So it's just like, see, like stuff like that, like you see, like that one question brought that out. It's just like certain things that maybe your fans never knew about you. And it's just fun and, you know, just something. See, that's one thing I've been mm -hmm. real selfish about. I don't yeah. be sharing a lot of my personal yeah. with these people. I just let them make up their own lives. <laughs> So then when the truth come out, they just look dumb as hell. So that's the thing, like, I, I tell all, all my um, my guests that super personal family stuff off, like, I don't I don't touch that. I touch, like, like stuff like we just talked about. Like, right. just, just really cool stuff that, like, like give me like another. random facts. Give me another one. Um, let's see. I'm still thinking about school, so that's all I'm thinking about. Man, you school, going was back a, and school was a fool. Word. Did you ever eat? Did you ever eat the cafeteria pizza? Uh, yeah, the, uh, the, the morning, the, in the morning, with the two percent. I didn't. Milk? I wasn't a fool. I wasn't a fan of the breakfast yeah. pizza. My favorite breakfast would mm -hmm. probably be the cinnamon roll. Oh, you were they right. had these cinnamon rolls <laughs> on the south side. Of Atlanta, no, we in Mississippi. Like we oh, had, okay. Oh, like okay. our food was hidden different because we actually had like black ladies from the community mm. as our lunch ladies. Mm. Like every school. We always had the black lunch lady. Yeah. Except for like in middle school, we had this she one was. white lady. She was cool as hell. The, the, oh, we had the one go to right here. Right? Yes. Yeah. Now she was on the hot side. Mm -hmm. we the pizza, yeah. Like, yeah, the spaghetti and, and shit like that. Big old glasses. I, I, and she was friends with uh Miss Jose May. Yeah. She used to make sure I got extra <laughs> slice of pizza, bro. Uh man, we had some dope ass lunch ladies at our school. Chicken tender day. Oh, y'all had chicken tender. Chicken tender day, this whole school district, bro. No. Everybody, everybody trying to come up with an extra dollar to get them extra that three chicken tender. tender day. Chicken tender day. They probably look crazy in the back with the fryer. They probably had a big deep fryer. Bro, people used to like you know people bring their lunch. Uh -huh. People used to sell their lunch just to be able to get extra chicken tenders, bro. I'm talking about big sandwich. Uh, they used to do that with us too. Not the chicken tender part. They used to sell their lunch. Oh man, I, it was so bad in high school. They made a rule where you could like on chicken tender day. <laughs> Nobody even knew, like, what chicken tender day was. I think it was Wednesday. But some days they'll have, like, a random chicken tender day. Uh -huh. Word to just get around school. And then they had this rule where it's like, you can't run to the cafeteria no more. You know what I mean? And then it's like, people will run, and then the principal will be standing in the hallway. Uh -huh. So then, like, when they get to the cafeteria, he'll, like, make them stand there and watch everybody. And they would run out. Yeah. Oh, it was the best. He probably had his chicken tender. He'll make them wait. Yeah, he'll yeah, make them wait till, like, till it was, like, 10 minutes left, and then they got to try to get their food and eat right quick. That's horrible. Oh, man. <laughs> then the principal, he was a big man. He was a big old stomach. He used, to, he used to hang everybody up. And if he ever caught you with, like, some snacks, he was taking them shits. And he'd be like, for him. you come to, come to my office at the end of the day and get them. Yeah. Then you get to the office, and he like, oh, well, I ate that. So. <laughs> See? I thought it was all for him. Man, That is crazy. hilarious. But I think he used to do it on purpose. Like, when we was in middle school, mm -hmm. he used to, like, People would, like, leave school, like, you know, like, right there mm -hmm. at the end and then, like, run to the store and then try to run, run back, back and catch the bus. Yeah. And he ever caught you coming back yeah. to try to get back on the bus, he, he would take run. your shit. Take, he would eat that for the night. And he'll make sure you miss it. And he'll make sure you miss the bus. Mm-hmm. That was, <laughs> that was a hater. That was a hater. <laughs> he was hating. That's bro. so funny. Like, I'm telling you, like, even, like, thinking about this, like, that whole story, like, how your fans would never know about Chicken Tender Day. Man, Chicken Tender Day was big. And then it wasn't even like it was a big meal. It was just like chicken tenders, mashed potatoes, and like a roll. 
and they had like this this sweet ass like sweet and sour sauce, mm -hmm. barbecue I'm just about sauce. To ask you, what's your what's your dipping uh, sauce of choice? Whatever that knockoff dipping sweet and sour was, that mm -hmm. shit used to hit so different. Used to hit. Man, yeah. but we had the real breaded chicken tenders. Yeah. That shit used to cause I'm a power outage. The ones all I, I, rem I remember, um, I remember my lunch lady to this day, um, Miss Valencia. She had a gold tooth, she had a high ponytail, and it was like kind of like down to her back. She was big lady, and everybody loved Miss Valencia. And she wrote, she uh, she substituted for the uh, the buses too. She is just working for the whole school. <laughs> She's working for the whole. She did the scooping, and everybody loved Miss Valencia. And she sometimes you catch her, you catch her on, on the buses or whatever route. And we used to love Miss Valencia. If our if our bus driver wasn't there, Miss Valencia said, "Come on, baby, let's go." So she would scoop, scoop the, the you know, she would give you extra big scoops on the uh, at lunch. And then a couple hours later, when the that bell rang, that was the rang, best lunch lady. The ones who knew your mom. Yeah. Cause they knew you was hungry. They could just look you in your eyes. The ones who like they they'll let you slide if you forget your lunch money. Oh, don't even act like you don't know your number. That, exactly. Look at that. Go ahead, baby. Mm -hmm. You just gotta let me slide with it. Cause they tried to get me like that one. Mm. They would not give me free lunch. They tried to make it seem like we had paper. Yeah, that, that's a. Y'all ain't getting no free lunch. But you know what's worse than free lunch? What? Reduced lunch. It is. They'll give you something from the back from three weeks ago. <laughs> no, nah, not that. Like, when you have to pay the price for reduced lunch, it'd be stupid, like an ugly ass amount. Like, your lunch be like 35 cents or some shit. 17 cents for breakfast. You're like, what the fuck? Who the fuck came up with this shit? I'll never forget, with, with my reduced lunch, They we would have, like, literally reduced. Like, we would not we would not have what the other kids have. I'm like, why? How am I supposed That's to? That's when you can't pay for that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how am I supposed to? Like, I'm literally my mom. Like, how am I supposed to be? Like, I, I have reduced lunch. It's not my fault. The so grilled me, cheese with literally... one piece yeah. of bread. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Or a peanut butter and jelly, and it's not grape jelly, it's apple jelly. And oh. they put it together, you don't know what type of bread they're going to put it on. And probably the bread in the front, you know, the front loaf of the bread. Oh, man. Put it two together, and then that's that's what you got on reduced lunch. My cousin's home. Milk. Like, right my home. cousin had this friend, and, like, her cousin was, like, the lunch lady that mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. Once she found that out, I had free range. Milks. <laughs> Juices, all that. I used to, whatever excuse you used to have to tell them to get a juice for lunch, yeah. I, that was my excuse. Every year, I was like, yeah, I got an inner ear. My ear, something messed with me. I need a grape juice with mine, because my inner ear, my sugar get low. <laughs> well, look, I really appreciate you, Flocker, yes. coming through. It's so Thank good you to so see much. you out here thriving. Thank and prospering you. Lock, and, and having these good quality products. Thank you Proud so much. Yes. Thank you. Keep doing your thank thing. You. Thank and you know you're always welcome wherever we are. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Well, thank let's you tell them the yes. black market is wide open. Black Blocker land. Come on. We out here. Stay positive. Yeah. Come on. Let's take yeah. a picture of this yeah. shit. Oh, I can't even move my hold on. Oof. I got Struggle. wheels on my okay, shit. Thanks.